hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i'm showing how to make a, how to arrange the db panels in electrical room okay so here is one schematic for me uh it's having one sm this is smdb this one is smdb so in smdb the that will the dbs are feeding from this smdb okay so with the uh, specific cables mentioning here like this is a one schematic for lv panel for it's coming from mdb2 uh, this cable is coming from mdb2 and connecting to this uh, smdb and from that each going to each dbs okay connected to dbs so this is a simple exercise for those who are working practice with electrical drawings okay so i need to place first one L L lv panel or mtb okay so i will call this one as a um, mtb there will be a specific room for that okay so i'm just placing this one mdb as per this uh, uh, this one okay so I'm, I'm placing this i'm changing this name to mdb1 okay for example so i'll type this one as a mdb1 okay so this panel is mdb1 from this panel i need to fix one smdb in electrical room okay and we can give the dimensions as per your calculations and spacing you can give the uh, location of uh, this M smdb panel for example i'm placing over almost over here okay so i'll place this one here okay so with the spacing i can give from here this one i will give uh, 250 from the wall okay then i place it one uh, smdb and i give it uh, the name like smdb1 sorry smdb1 then i need to place some uh, panels like as per this okay uh, so i will call this one uh, db1 okay then uh, i need to place dbs over here okay then i will place uh, i will copy this one and uh, i need to rotate this one like this okay then i need to place one db over here uh, this is db1 copy from here okay and we can uh, even if you want to show the load also you can give that but but not required this is already in showing in the schematic okay so i need to place another db otherwise i will do one thing i will I'll place this one in the uh, in the other side okay so i'll just copy this move this one to here okay one db i place it over here and another db i need to place with a specific gap okay so i need to give 100 mm gap for this one or 150 you can give it no issue okay so this is as per your standards you, uh, you can give the space okay and this is db3 okay three db i place it here and i need to place another two db also so what i will do i will just need to rotate this one so i need to rotate this one rotate command okay just give a rotate and place one db over here okay just uh, give gap from here i think uh, you can give 250 from the wall and i giving this uh, name like a uh, four okay and another one db how many db so db5 okay so I, another one db i will place over here can move uh, with the distance uh, 100 the five dbs are placed okay so what what is means the the one cable uh, means this this cable size is showing here and one, one earth cable also here okay so the 25 square mm uh, xlp swa pvc cable is coming from uh, this mdb1 and connecting to smdb2 okay so as per that we have some uh, we need to draw some cable trace okay so what we can do we can uh, we can copy this uh, for example there will be some calculation for cable tray and as per that we are designing this cable trace okay so for example i'm, I'm choosing this 300 mm cable tray copy this one and i'm placing over here and to, we need to connect a cable tray on this one okay so we'll just move this one and i will just select stretch from here and connecting to this panel okay so for example i will do like this and i'm just moving this one down okay then connecting to this <clears throat> okay then the cables are coming here it means for example uh, uh, from the mdb the cable i will show you one cable like a, uh, i'll draw like this one cable okay so i will draw like this okay 300 fillet and uh, given 300 for this one and i am choosing this one as like a global width i can give 25 it means that uh, uh, 25 mm cable to this uh, lv panel okay so there will be one uh, earth cable also we need to show okay then uh, uh, that is around 16 Okay, so we'll give the global width 16. actually i think it's not required that much bigger cable right so we can choose this uh, 200 for this okay so I'll, I'll remove this one okay then i will uh, this cable we can give some other color also okay so i'll, I'll choose one earth cable i will give a blue color and this one i am giving this red color okay then i selected in center of this one and we will move this one up to here and connecting like this okay so this was fixed over here and you can stretch from this every point to here so one cable tray is connected to this panel uh, we can change the radius of the uh, this curve of this one uh, i'm giving uh, around 150 okay so 200 okay then i'll give like this just offset it 
okay then i uh, giving this earth cable is size is 16 um, it is showing so just give 16 and color i will give another color okay so this uh, 16 means the earth cable okay so it's connected like this and another one uh, we need to uh, from here we can draw a, a, a trunking to connecting this all the all the panel or cable tray also it's okay so i what i will do i will, I will just make one uh, trunking okay i'll copy one trunking from here for example this one how much it was like a uh, hundred okay we'll copy this trunking okay copy this trunking and i put place over here okay so it means that uh, from smdb the wall i think the wall mounted uh wall mounted cable trunking we can use it and we, it will it will feed to all the uh, all the dbs okay, it's dropping to the all the dbs so like that we can arrange the um, cable tray okay and uh, we can give some tags of over here okay, so we will we'll, we'll, how to do that one it will show i'll show and uh, we can give this one the leader command we can use the tag for the all the okay, for it means uh, it, it, it was it was here from here it's feeding two cable to this uh, smdb and then uh, all the cable connecting to this uh, each each uh, dbs like uh, for example db1 okay db1 uh, it's having uh, 16 mm db okay means it's connecting to here and another and i'll change the color for this one like uh, magenta okay global width i will just give it for presentation wise and another cable coming to this panel okay through this uh, cable trunking okay and another okay, another uh, another one is coming like this okay and connecting to this uh, this panel so like that we can arrange all the cable okay uh, for example this one we can give uh, under 100 okay then another another one more cable it's coming to here on this trunking and connecting to this uh, panel okay so the one more cable is there for this one and it, it will it will connecting to this uh, uh, smdb so it means uh, the cables Cables, the first cable main cable is coming from the mdb and uh, the second one is uh, and connecting to smdb and then and from the smdb it is feeding to the all the uh, db uh, dbs okay so another uh, for for db1 we are giving a tag like uh, we can give the tag copy that one and rotate it okay uh, from that uh, first cable is like uh, this one okay and the second db for that one is also same so we can copy this thing and we can place like this okay it's can stretch it down so this is the presentation for all the like like we you can give another one the cable last uh, cable db5 means this one we can copy it and we can rotate this one okay so we'll place it somewhere over here and we will we'll lead at that one okay that is for this one and even with the trunking also you can give okay for example this is 100 and 200 mm so just to type it like uh, 100 into 100 mm cable tray cable trunking okay cable trunking running through port okay like that you can uh, give the tag for the cable trunking okay and uh, give like this to through presentation wise you can give all the details okay and uh, this one the cable tray you can give with a uh, tag okay like uh, for example 200 200 into the cable tray uh, at at level uh, you can give at level uh, 3500 as for the uh, as for the room height you can give that one okay so you can give the some separate uh, name for the cable tray also like uh, the, you as for the schedule you can give and another thing you need to give the dimensions okay for example i'm keeping this one okay like this and go to the annotate tab and take uh, quick time uh, continuous dimensions and you can give the dimensions like this for example, other, other example, like you, you need to give the from the wall how much distance it will come. So you can give the dimensions also from the from this one, and even the cable tray also you can give the dimensions from the wall how much distance it's, it was going. You can give it for this one also. You can give the dimensions like that. You can set the pan view of the uh, our uh, LV rooms and I means the electrical rooms. Okay, so how, how much distance from this one you can give the easily on that one and you can take continuous dimensions okay then from here the distance and how much from the world it, it was coming how much you can give that like that so this is very simple exercise uh, those who are working in um, in electrical field and even this is a simple practice for that okay so you can arrange the lv panels uh, means dbs in the uh, room and next section i will i'll show you how to do the uh, elevations and everything okay thanks for watching thank you please don't forget to subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet so if, i think this tutorial you understood how to arrange the LV panels, like panels and everything as per the schematic. Thanks for watching.